Hi guys, welcome to another installment of Phaser Friday. Today we're gonna look at adding the pan or fall to your template phasers. This is gonna feel a lot like you're building a waterfall with tilt because it's kind of the same thing but with pan. However, I think it's gonna be fun to look at now that we've taken a look at the phaser editor together and measure and some other features within phasers. So let's build this one together too. In our show file, I'm gonna grab fixtures one through eight and we're going to put them at 100%. In step one and I'm gonna make this relative because I want to make sure that this is something that I can work with again and again uh, but in first in the absolute layer because you can't really tell what pans doing unless we tilt first right always tilt then pan I'm going to tilt these lights downstage this isn't gonna actually be stored into our phaser this absolute like tilt action it's just gonna be the relative that's what's stored but we need that there so that we know what we're doing all right, and so then with the pan, I'm going to pan over to the left here. That looks good. That's gonna be our relative, so we'll do relative like plus 40. Actually, 30. We're gonna do relative plus 30. And then in step two, we're going to do a minus 30. Back to the absolute layer for dimmer, right? Because I absolutely want it to go to zero in step two. So I can see I have dimmer here, pan here, tilt, which is gonna be obsolete. Like we're not actually gonna store the tilt, but uh, it's just there right now because I needed to see it tilted downstage for this phaser to be seen on stage. And it's going a little too fast, right, as a base here. So let's go into a matrix and then we're going to go to speed and press 15. And we're just going to like slow that down a bit. Actually, let's go 20. All right, so, you know what, 30. Actually, 30. I'm going to go into fit my matrix, change my speed to 30. There we go. Love it. Live it. Let's own it. And then first thing we're gonna do is that reset step, that step uh, two where they are at zero, we're gonna make that a lot smaller. So it actually resets a bit faster so we can kind of see our phaser run a bit smoother. And so in step two, I'm going to change the width. So I'm gonna go to phaser steps and then width and I'm gonna make sure link phaser is set to at filter, right? Cause I want this to affect dimmer and pan tilt at the same time. And we're gonna roll that width down of step two. And oh, the other thing we forgot to do, phaser overall, need to turn on measure. I wanna lock that measure to two beats, right? So as I change my width, it's not affecting the whole loop of the phaser. I have locked the loop of my phaser to two. So now that that is set and I feel comfy there, we're gonna go back to phaser steps. Uh, I think our, weight, our reset step is nice and small, looks great. And now in step one, I need the dimmer to fade on and then I need it to fade off before it goes back to the other version of pan. This is when I'm gonna change link filter to single, right? Cause I only want to affect dimmer in this moment and I'm gonna change the width of step one so it moves over here. So it finishes before that step one of the pan finishes. And then in step two, my transition, I need it to transition back out before, so it's like completely off when it's resetting. And now it's being a little wonky in the programmer, so let's double press that sync button just to kind of like get everything back into sync. Pans over, Ooh, my reset's not quite right. So something's a little wonky, let's fix this together. In step two, I'm gonna go to at filter and I'm going to change my width here, make it a little bit, give it a little more space to reset. And Perfect, okay, now it's resetting. It just like did not have enough time to move. I did not give it enough room for that reset. So now that we have enough space for it to reset so we're not seeing it move again, I'm just gonna double press sync just to kinda get everything back in sync. And now before I store this, remember I don't want to store the tilt. So I don't want the tilt in here. I just want pan and dimmer. I'm gonna turn off tilt here in the top. Remember this is a filter. If you're not familiar with that, go back and watch the video about the phaser editor that I did a couple weeks ago, and this will show you, or maybe it was last week, I don't know, it's all a blur to me. But I'm gonna turn off tilt so that when I store, it only stores dimmer end position. And then we're gonna store this information here into this, and we're gonna call this my panner ball. Perfect. Now it's simple. I can grab my lights, activate this information, and start manipulating it from there. Maybe wings of two, transform mirror, and shuffle was not the move. I don't know why I thought shuffle was the move, but here we go. And there, now I have this fun panner fall that I can keep playing with and go from there. So, 
Let's go wings of two, 360, transform mirror, and there. Now I have this winged panel fall. It's going a little too fast. Let's set the speed to 30. And now I can get the looks that I'm going for. You're gonna to wanna to create two of these, one going one direction, one going the other. So just take what I did here and then just do the opposite where you start with the pan going the other way first. Uh, same with tilt, right? You're gonna want one where it goes down and one where it goes up. So this, you're gonna want one where it's going left and one where it's going right. But I hope this helps just kind of add a little bit more to your base file and come back next week for more.